It's fair to say that some people in Northern Ireland are very fond of the colour orange. Now, of course, you have the very famous Orange Order, and they hold, and still do hold, controversial marches in Northern Ireland at this time. But in this video, I want to look at why are people in Northern Ireland, or certain people in Northern Ireland, so obsessed with the colour orange? Well, to answer this, we have to go back in time. Now, if we take a quick look at Ireland, Ireland was essentially an old Celtic nation, quote unquote, uh, which was Catholic for a long time, as was pretty much all of Europe that was Christian. But in England, the people had, during the Reformation, started to convert to Protestantism. And because the English were in Ireland, they suddenly decided that they had to convert the Irish to Protestantism. Now, this is oversimplifying things a little bit, but it would be easier to control the people of Ireland if they weren't of the quote-unquote wrong religion. Now, it's during this time that the English monarchs and Scottish monarchs sent English and Scottish Protestants over to the most rebellious part of Ireland, the hardest part to control, which was Ulster, in the Ulster Plantation. And this meant that suddenly there were obviously native Catholic Irishmen in the north of Ireland, but also now Protestants from England and Scotland. And this is where some of the trouble started, um, as you had these two groups fighting various wars with one another pretty much from as soon as they arrived in Northern Ireland. Now we have to go to King James I, who was one of the Stuart Kings. And he was actually, a first of all, a closet Roman Catholic, and then he openly came out as being Roman Catholic. And he was the last one to do so, and for good reason, because people at the time were very wary of Roman Catholics and of the plots connected to them. And so he was not very much loved by the uh, both Protestants in England, which was the majority at that time, and also the Protestants in Northern Ireland. So if we go over to the Netherlands... <laughs> I mean, come on, it's a video about the colour orange. Who did you think it was going to be? So now over in the Netherlands, there is obviously a Protestant-style, Republican-style government with a more and more kingly type figure in the Stadthouder. And because of this, a lot of English Protestants wanted a change from the Catholic James. And so they decided to send, I believe it was 13 of them, sent over an invitation to the Dutch Stadthouder Willem the Derde, Willem van Oranje, so William the Third, to come over and rule in their stead. And this he does in what is called the Glorious Revolution. And can I just say, if any other nation had invaded, it would have been called an invasion. But because it was the Dutch, it's a Glorious Revolution. I'm just kidding. Um, and William III came over in 1688, very important year. And James, the King of England at the time, he actually fled without putting up any sort of resistance across the sea. But this isn't the end of it all. And obviously King William, this, he wasn't actually a king when he came over, he was just the Stadthouder of Holland, Zeeland, Utrecht, Gelderland and Overijssel. But because he went over to England, he became a king. He then became king of England, Scotland and Ireland, as well as being the Stadthouder of the Netherlands. So then the Netherlands and uh, the United Kingdom came into a type of union together. And obviously all the Protestants in Northern Ireland were very happy, as were the majority of Englishmen uh, and the Dutch, because they were all Protestants and he was a Protestant. And as well as this, it's he who, his style of government was a lot less personal and more directed through Parliament, because obviously back home in the Netherlands, he had no type of absolute power at all. All of it was through Parliament. So he introduced something similar in um, Great Britain, which was very different to the Stuart type monarchy, which was more absolute in nature. And because of this, the supporters of William are called the Williamites. However, there were still supporters of the Stuarts and of King James. And these were well, not restricted to, but mainly Catholic, um, mainly opposed to the newer style of government that William was introducing, as well as being part of the um, Tory party as opposed to the Whig party. And this support was especially strong in Ireland, as well as in the Scottish Highlands, which is why you get the Jacobite Risings. And the name of these supporters of King James was indeed the Jacobites. And I need to make some videos about the Jacobites at some point in the future. And because of this, they want him to come back, and he does come back 
after he flees from England, he goes to Ireland and he comes back with an army. And William crosses over into Ireland with his army of, um, it's quite a mix actually of Dutch, of French, Danish, German, Protestants, as well as obviously Englishmen in his army. Um, and his Dutch Blue Guards, the best troops in Europe at the time, spearhead the attack over the River Boyne. James has put his army on the other side of this River Boyne, which is uh, to the north of Dublin, if I'm not mistaken, and he wins the day. He uh, J James is James flees from the field, and William of Orange again uh, defeats King James and secures his hold on Ireland. So, because of this, the Protestants in Northern Ireland were very thankful for this because they were being attacked by the Catholics, and you know, don't get me wrong, they were attacking Catholics as well, but they. Um, Essentially, King William saved the day for them, which is why they used the colour orange to honour this because of King William and the Battle of the Boyne on the 1st of July, 1690. Alright everyone, so thanks very much for watching. This has been my video on the a little bit about the history and why, of course, they used the colour orange in Northern Ireland for the Unionists or Loyalists, as some people call them, which are generally the Protestant style who want to remain part of the United Kingdom. Uh, and this does go back to the Dutch and to William III. And I know a lot of people ask me to make a video about William III. This I'll probably make, I will make quite a few more. Um, but this has just been a little fun one to uh, get started. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the description below, in the description, in the comment section below. I've done this so often. And uh, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with a mate if you think they would. So thanks for watching and I will see you all again very soon.